Hey, what is going on, guys? Um, today is Quick Match Tuesday. Uh, so now we're gonna start talking about like topics about like Siege channel, the, the channel, and stuff like that that's related to my content. That's basically what Quick Match Tuesday is about now. Well, is gonna become about. So uh, with our starter topic, we got um, actually first we got a uh, Tommy and Thomas joining us. Oh, what is up, my G's? I'm tired. You have very low effort on my end. Sorry. All about right. That. So the first topic is um, so there's gonna be potentially a new uh new series on the channel. I don't know if we're gonna do it, but the, the high probability for another for another series. I know two others just came out, but like this is definitely gonna be the clickbait of the video. I guarantee it. Maybe. Dude, you. <laughs> uh, they're upstairs. Confirmed. Cap can. Cap can confirmed. What right. site? Uh, don't know. Don't I know. just know there's a cap can. All right. Cap well, um, the channel's gonna be oh. about like, or er, not the channel. The uh, series is gonna be about like weird, wacky stuff. You'll see. It's gonna be see. just pretty much us. It's gonna be pretty much us just kind of being goofy. Not really trying at anything, because some of these videos will get real sweaty real quick. <laughs> yeah. Especially especially the challenging Mondays. But not and, really. and the unranked Thursdays. But, um... Oh, unranked. unranked always gets sweaty. Yeah, yeah. We just do ranked. Nah. Nah. Yeah, we got a enemy a AC-130 above. But... Alright, then, the uh... Enemy. Then, uh, the, um... Main topic for this video is, uh... We... So, I know this is kind of basic, and this is what a lot of people kind of talk about. Um, so, uh, we're talking about, like, what kind of what kind of stuff we want to see coming from R6 in the future. But Which, a big thing for me is I want to make, I want to see them make controller playing actually viable. I mean, I do four, 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 four. hear me out. If you say I can start playing on a mouse and keyboard, I'm going to flash you. Start playing on a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> no, no, Tommy, Tommy. I have a gun too. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill him. It's gonna hurt him really bad. I just wanna play Rig Around the Rosie. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. Um, so, Tommy, you said you wanted to make controller playing. Like, I do want to see, like, not like, of course, not like, uh, with, uh, what's the game? With Warzone, where you literally get aim. Aim assist. Yeah, not, not like that, but at least get, like, not as bad, but at least give some. Like, oh, Rook's behind table on the uh, hallway. Man's a god. Um, to make it at least like where controller you do you can actually. I mean, if you've been playing controller long enough, you can for sure keep the mouse and keyboard. But to give us some of it, a little bit of an advantage, like giving us a little bit more adjustments, like being able to adjust. Like our trigger sensitivity, like in game, where it starts actually picking up on it. But I can't really complain about it. Controller is still never gonna be as good as mouse and keyboard. You do have an advantage when you play mouse and keyboard. Um, and then another thing I'd like to see is honestly, I'd rather I want them to bring old Chalet back. Yeah, yeah, we know you don't like old Chalet or new Chalet. Aww. Hey, um, new chalet. Yeah. New chalet is not that. It, honestly, old chalet definitely was the better play, or the better, the better map out of the two. Um. Honestly, I think instead of reworking all the old maps and reworking out all the problems about that, I want them to release a whole new map in general. Oh, I yeah. So um, I was gonna talk about something like that like i want to see a whole new map for um uh for y at least one in year six two would be amazing right. two would be amazing it rainbow don't get me wrong rainbow is a great game 
but you end up doing the same thing every single time you log in. It's the same oh, yeah. map. It's nothing. It's nothing new. Yeah, because when they rework maps, they just rework problems that like um... they find with them. Except Chalet and how problems that. It's no, it's no, but like the thing is, it's usually esports and pro league that like decides like what reboots it's, it's get into them. It's what they want. It's not what the actual fan base wants. Well, yeah, because because half the fan base wants more content to like explore the game throughout, and then the other half if, is if competitive, it would be possible. which supports esports. If it could be possible to release a like side game that you can get that is the same operators as Rainbow, so it's a very similar game, not a whole new version of Rainbow, but it's an add-on where we actually get a story mode. Well, we technically do. Yeah, yeah with but the it, situation. It's not like it's not like an actual story. Like I want one of them where it literally like you go, you can play like it's a multiplayer. It's a five player just like rainbow and it actually like explains why all these operators are fighting these terrorists it does so when you first launch the game i get i get all that when you watch the first video you, um, you get all you this get stuff that explains you, it but you i'm saying about the threat in article 5 itself no, i'm talking about like in actual full on like story mode kind of like cod does Reloading! well yeah that Yes, that it, would be really good. It would really just be good. fun to have. It would be something that you didn't have to be online for. Mm -hmm. But again, you could be online for and play like multiplayer, like with your friends and stuff. Which, if they could incorporate that, would be great. I don't know if the other uh, is Like even if it was like supposed to be like a purchased add-on, I would. That'd be something I'd buy. Definitely be Watch something I'd look, look into getting. Yeah. They've got the loose Yeah, no, I took some bullets from somewhere. They got one down the hallway, one down the hallway. I cannot start this game. Just... Um... One on but big yes, stairs, Simon. Seeing a story mode would be really... Spiral? Fun. Yeah. Or more Same. Alright, oh, Brendan, sorry. Um, another thing I'd like to see, this this just gives me the opportunity to say everything, because I'm dead. Is honestly, yeah, it was really nice getting to see the new gun with Zero. I really think it was a good add-on. Especially, yeah, and the fact that uh, DMR, or the fact that, um, what's it called? Uh, Defense got their first DMR user. Which, it's nice, It's it is something different, but what I would like, to see more of is more like options like each operator has two guns well no some two. have three yeah some have three but there are operators who have one but because that's just their ability yeah yeah like chachanka like... or no not chanka's but uh yeah. like uh, has, yeah. how zero has his like pistol and stuff yeah i would like to honestly see it where we could not mash every single gun together, like where you can just pick, like you can set loadouts. Not a recruit. Yeah, not like not, not like not Pathfinder recruit. recruit. No, not like that. I'm saying like where we would be able to get more options. Yeah, like, like a little bit more options, like like three or four per operator. Because then, yeah, we have our base guns, but then we have like cross compatible guns that every. Yeah, like, like a cross, like, like um, a cross compatible shotgun that every single player has. Well, that again, that'd be kind of broken. Not really. Considering no, if you consider all of the uh, all of the uh, like the gadgets that every operator comes with, like sure, no, yeah, saying, recruit would be fine. But like, that's kind of what I'm going with with this. Is recruit you can pretty much like honest make it like old recruit. So old recruit. Yeah, let's get old recruit back where you can pick any Lodo. Well, yeah, but not that... customize it. Let the game customize it for you. Oh. But you can choose any. Like, like, like you get a gun. you get a random. That gun literally must have no recoil. Oh, oh no, it does. 
What the shit? I'm I'm stuck in a closet yeah, right now. But um. Alright, I'm dropping down to bottom floor because. Or I can just kill myself. All right, so uh, we were talking about the um. What were we recruit. talking about? Oh yeah, recruit. Like, let's say let's say it gave you like a uh, random number, like it gave you an RNG chance for what loadouts you could possibly what choose. Else? It's kind of like a randomizer. Yes, an RNG loadout. So like in game, you pick it. it. So you pick the gun. Say I decide to pick uh. MP5. It could give me any one of the MP5 photos. No, no, no. Dude, this guy. Not like that. Not like that. What I mean is like, um. It's like one of three. It, no, like it gives you like a random. It gives you like a random gun. Let's say. Yeah. Not, not like a random. What the hell? <laughs> um. No. What I'm saying is like you pick your gun. So. And it gives you random. Uh, like, optic, random, grip. Gamer girl confirmed. Here, let's yeah, finish this conversation, right. then I'll end the recording. So it would just be an add-on to the game. It would just be something kind of fun. It would make Recruit a little bit more viable, to be honest. Because yeah, yeah. Recruit is, is so boring. It's the same well, stuff. Yeah, because they just, because they, when they updated Recruit, they made him, like, limited to uh he it made him so it felt like they made him t into an actual operator that you cannot customize yeah yeah but they the reason they did that though is because you have an option between a um an ar an lmg and uh dmr on or attack shotgun. let's say or yeah and you can have a secondary shotgun and you can have two uh two gadgets like you can bring along a uh Hard breaching charge or a nitro cell, let's say, which which is really nice to have. Like you can bring those two things, but then you're also then you're restricted. Is what if say you don't like the LMG? You would rather have someone else's LMG. Say you would rather have Fuse's LMG or you would rather have Fuse's pistol. It it would just make it kind of more of a viable option for recruit. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. But we probably won't get this. Uh, like I said, another thing that would be nice is to get uh, a new map, something new. Yeah, just new content in general. And if and again, so um, since and again, but, match is over. No, well, no. We're, wrap we're it up. On, okay, yeah, I'll try and wrap it up. But um. So, uh, Ubisoft is continuing to push out less and less content for each, like, season or update because um, they, they want to go till year 10, they said. And you're, you're not going to make it to year t you're not going to make it to year 10 if you don't push out some new content. Exactly. Your game exactly. is your game's going to die. So. But they started to release less content, so people wait longer. Like, now they're going to only push out one operator per season. That'll be four operators per year, which is... That sucks for us game or as I play this, but if if you're going to cut it to one operator, at add least, something... At least add more stuff that's not related to the operator, like the map, let's say. Like, re even rework... I'm not saying we need a brand new map right now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, house rework was nice. Chalet is okay. Uh, tower, don't want to talk about tower. Tower was trash. Still is trash. Yeah, tower was what? definitely a bad move. Skyscraper, not tower. Or skyscraper, or, yeah, 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 skyscraper. They, they update this, and they want it to be like new content, but in reality, all they're doing is changing some walls, changing some windows, and changing door placements. And then fixing bugs, then the occasional. A little bit of architecture. Yeah, yeah. And then what I think they, another thing that they should, like, for sure add is a anti-cheat software. Well, they already have we got that. one. They've got one. Oh, we got this one is... finally? No, we've, we've had, had one. one. We've had one. Oh, uh, it's just garbage? Battle Eye. Oh, yeah, yeah Battle Eye. But we, again, we can still report to, like, the, uh... Very true. 
I think there's just some things that need to be worked out with Rainbow if they want to make it as far as they say they do. Mm-hmm. But, but that's I'm it. I'm gonna wrap it up. Yeah. And I'm gonna leave it right there. We're gonna leave it there. Uh, we can continue this conversation if you guys want for the next Quick Match Tuesday. But uh, see you guys.